Hello everyone, I thought I'd share a trick in order to create a shoreline with MapMagic 2. Those who've used MapMagic 1 will remember there being a node just for that, but that's no longer here in MapMagic 2. Luckily, it's incredibly easy to do once you know what to use. Before we start, I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. So I have this really simple terrain here made with MapMagic. I exported it as a height map and I'm you know, importing that again so I can reuse it. So that's the terrain. Now it would be really nice obviously to have a shoreline and an actual ocean here. I'm using Crest for my ocean and if you are using Crest with the default render pipeline, the latest update is not available yet. So we can't actually preview the render in the scene. So I made a simple plane that you know represents where the ocean will be so it's at the same height just to have a point of reference now i want this part and especially the part under it to be sand because you know it's supposed to be a shoreline and if i right click here and i go to initial you won't see any shoreline node just like you had in map magic one now luckily it doesn't matter because it's actually really easy to do and i actually find it easier to do than with the actual shoreline node so let's get started so we're going to i'm going to start off creating a simple cavity here just to have some green in my terrain as well there we go and in order to display that, I'm going to add a portal. So an enter portal, and that will be linked to my terrain. So let's call this terrain. And let's add a, another portal, which is the exit portal. There we go. I'm going to drag this, that's you know quite important. I'm going to drag this to my grass, and as you can see, we have our grass, which is nice, you know, looks good. So let's add a modifier here, and this modifier is a curve. So I'm going to drag that here, drag that here, and we have our curve. And we can play around a bit with this, you know, there's not that much you have to do, but you can play around just a bit and about here and at least, you know, some of the terrain will be gone, but yeah, it's not completely. So this is slightly better already. So as you can see, you have to play around with it a bit and it gives you a preview as well, which is really nice. And we have, decently masked you know the where it's going to be displayed it's decent but it's not you know absolutely perfect obviously so yeah about here there we go well it used to be slightly better before actually that doesn't matter I'm just going to drag it down now the important part here is going to be the other modifier, which is going to be another curve. And this one will be slightly different and a lot more interesting. So I'm going to drag that here and I'm going to drag that into the sand layer. Now by default, this is not going to have much of an impact at all. So I'm going to drag this up. And now you can see that the sand layer just completely overtook everything here. And we're actually going to drag this one down and we're you already see a little bit of effect so the greenery is slowly starting to get through and now really slowly and that's the important part we can actually start adding our sand here so yeah this one is a bit more important and should have done that slightly better because you know we don't want to see any grass going through there we go that's a lot better 
And as you can see now, we have our sand going through as well. So we actually have a shoreline. Now, unfortunately, my map doesn't really have a lot of height, so let's increase that a tiny bit. Maybe even a bit more. It's really flat. There we go, that's slightly better. And we can actually try to expand the sand a tiny bit. So here we go, it sticks out a bit more. So that's pretty decent. And let's check with our ocean line. And this needs to be a bit higher now, a tiny bit. Because I've increased it a bit. And as you can see, we have our sandy shoreline. Now it might be a bit too big and obviously it depends on the height map you're using so some tweaking will obviously be necessary don't expect this to be absolutely perfect because it will definitely not be you'll, uh, you'll need to mess around with it a, bit, a tiny bit more so let's do 10.5 maybe and I'm going to add that now to my crest rendition so 10.5 and Let's add that depth cache as well, so 10.5 again. Now I'm going to hit play mode. And yeah, I, <coughs> I know, it's a bit strange, but it doesn't matter. And we're going to go to our shoreline. And as you can see now we have, and yeah, it's a bit too much, you know, there is a bit too much sand here, but that's okay. You can tweak those values with the curve yourself. But as you can see, this is how the shoreline is supposed to be. So we have sand and then it goes up on, you know, and actually terrain, ground layer and some grass. Now there's a lot more you can do with this. You can you know, link it to a certain cavity as well. So let me let me hide this one again. So we could introduce another cavity here and do the opposite. So we do a concave. Let's do 20 by 20. Same curve and we can add well, this one, for example, as a layer. And we'll have a bit more offset, and this is definitely not the perfect texture, but you know, you can add a texture here, which will again mask a bit the areas that were not supposed to be sand just yet because it's moving up. And yeah, this is not the best use of textures at all, but that's not really the point here. It's more of how you can create a shoreline. And keep in mind that you can use you know, once this is actually tied to your texture layers, this will count for your objects as well. So if you're going to add, you know, trees, for example. So, well, I don't have any set up, but yeah, if you link your trees mask to those terrain layers, they will only be visible on those areas as well. So that's why it's quite important to use curve to properly mask your textures based on height or something else and that way you won't have any issues with trees displaying in the ocean for example so curve is definitely one of the most useful modifiers and yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit like and subscribe and i'll see you next time